Tiffany Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Sunday dinner cook with me and y'all have no recipe. We are just gonna cook. We're just winging this. I have some ingredients. I have chicken legs, white rice, a can of black beans and a box of Jiffy. So we're gonna work with that. We're gonna season it really well. Never be afraid of seasoning, just so you know. <laughs> so we're gonna just jump into this, start cooking. I thought I would bring the camera along. And yeah, so grab you a drink, sit back and relax, or get in the kitchen and cook with me and let's whip some stuff up, y'all. Hope y'all are doing well and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good. Also, if you haven't yet, stay subscribed. Check me out over on Instagram at thriftytiffany35, also at TikTok. Um, they have a new feature over at TikTok where they have like 10 minute videos. So definitely check me out over there. Haven't done one yet, but I will. I will, I'll get to it. Um, but we're gonna get started and get cooking, y'all. So get ready. Cause here we go. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're just gonna wing it y'all. We're just gonna go for it. To start off with, we have our chicken legs. I need to rinse these and look, these were not a bad price. $3.55, I got these at H Mart. So we're going to end up roasting these, baking them, whatever you wanna call them, but they're gonna be baked on this rack right here. Then over here, I got a can of black beans, uh, the Goya. I got these from Dollar Tree as well. And we're gonna spruce these up. We're gonna add some onions, some uh, green onions, and probably a bunch of different spices. Also, I'm gonna make some white rice. Already got my bay leaf in there. Added a bay leaf in there. And I will also salt it really well with some sea salt. So we're gonna make white rice in here. And this is thawing out. I have uncured turkey bacon to put in with the beans. We're gonna rinse off the chicken legs and put them in here in this bowl. All right, we have our chicken here. We're about to season it. So here's the seasoning. I wasn't able to film that, but here's the seasoning, and I'm gonna show you what I season. I just sprinkled, no measurements. Got pink Himalayan salt, ground mustard, ginger, crushed red pepper, ground pepper, ground cinnamon, yes, ground cinnamon. I make a Moroccan chicken that has cinnamon in it, and that showed me how cinnamon really does like accentuate these other seasonings. So yes, on the cinnamon, it sounds crazy, but I promise you it works. Um, then we got onion powder, garlic powder, ground paprika. We got adobo, only a little bit of adobo. I did a pack of this sazon, but this is the seasoning. These are all the seasonings that you need and you just decide on how much, how little I made enough to go over the chicken legs. Now, I went ahead and did this first because if you mix it first, it's better and then coat your chicken. So we're about to do that. Also, I have my oven preheating to 400. I have my chicken legs here. Get you a rack. You need a rack. You don't want it sitting flesh. And then I'm gonna put another aluminum foil right here. And then once I season them, I'm gonna put them on here to kind of like roast. First things first though, add avocado oil, olive oil, whatever oil you want to your chicken. And then I'm gonna mix it in. Just use your hands, y'all. Wipe in the oil. See if I take any, any feathers or anything off that need to go, come off. Um, make sure they're fully coated with oil so the season adheres to all of it. All right, then we're gonna take our seasoning and put it on a little bit at a time and then mix and then add it to the other layers. All right, y'all, you see my hands? You can never season enough well i mean you can if you're not using the right seasons but y'all look at this this is a well rounded seasoned piece of chicken um and there's a lot of meat ratio to the bone so you want it to sit marinate for a little bit i know my hands look nasty y'all but that's a part of cooking um you can wipe it down in between the skins if you want uh just let it marinate for a little bit and then again i'll set it up and we're gonna roast it bake it whatever you want to consider it but these are gonna come out so good y'all so good all right y'all so we're just putting aluminum foil over the rack there is a rack down here you don't have to use the aluminum foil i'm just trying to help with the with all the juices and the spices and stuff um and you can use tongs i'm just gonna use my hands because look we've already used it but just start laying these out and do like that one facing that way then this one facing the opposite way. It's all gonna get crispy. You're gonna cook these until these get crispy. They're not gonna be soggy. That's the difference of putting them on a rack. 
They're not soaking on ju in juices. They're going to be crispy. Let me put this one this way. Okay. I love chicken legs cooked like this. They're, they end up being like wings. They're so good, y'all. And do you s just see the seasoning? And I'm telling you, the cinnamon is going to set it off. I'm telling you. You're thinking, Tiffany, what are you thinking? I promise you, I was thinking we need to scoop these down a little bit. That Moroccan chicken changed the game for me. Made me realize you can use different flavors when seasoning. Just got to... It just helps enhance, like how coffee helps enhance chocolate. It's just the same concept. It just, the different seasonings enhance the other seasoning. It's gonna make it amazing. Y'all look at this. Do y'all see this chicken, first of all? Do you see the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chicken? There's only a little bit of sauce. You don't want these wet though. I just wanna make sure they're well seasoned. Oh, it smells so good. All right, into the oven at 400. Now we're gonna get started with sides. So I'm gonna do a cup of rice, which means a cup and a half of water. I also added two bay leaves. We have a cup of washed rice, and that is one and a half cups of water. Added two bay leaves. I also wanted to add a bunch of chopped chives. I'm also gonna add a chicken, a packet of chicken bouillon. Sometimes I like all the way white rice, but this time I'm gonna add some flavoring and some oil, avocado oil. I went ahead and turned on this eye, got that in there. We're gonna cut up the onion real quick, let it saute, and then add the black beans and season. All right, we're gonna cut in some of this turkey bacon. We're gonna sear that with the onions. I put some green onions in here. This is for the beans, um, just so we have some type of protein with the beans, even though the beans are protein. All right, we're just about to cut this onion up. Just use half of an onion. It has the turkey bacon, the onions, and green onions in there. I'm gonna flavor it, and then we're gonna add the beans once this crisp up. Add some black pepper too. This is the turkey bacon and the onions and the green onions and pepper and that bouillon seasoning packet. We're still gonna let these crisp up a little bit more. All right, y'all, they're getting crispy. For turkey bacon, this is uncured turkey bacon. And we're gonna add our black beans, and these are just gonna cook for a while with the juices, and you can add a little water if you want because you do have that chicken broth powder. All right, I am adding a cup of water because these are gonna be sitting for a while, cooking, simmering. Here are my beans, y'all. They're still simmering. They smell so good. And we're about to make the cornbread. I already buttered the dish here. And we're gonna put together, you just need your mix, milk, and one egg. Look at what these are looking like right now, y'all. Oh my gosh, look at all that juice coming down. They're juicy, they're getting a little crispy skin on them. They're beautiful colored. Now I gotta flip them. All right, so just get you some tongs. Flip them around so this side can get crispy. And you want these to get really crispy. All right, these are going back in the oven. Okay, it's gonna be hard for me to show you, but there was a lot of juice here, and I just poured that juice into the beans. So I just set it up like this, and pour some of that juice in there, because again, these are on a rack. I took the bay leaves out of the rice because the rice is done, and I will put that in the beans while they are simmering. We're gonna to put together this Jiffy Mix, one box. This is very simple. This is just for quick nights. I love homemade cornbread, but this is for quick nights. One egg, try to do this with one hand. <laughs> I did it. I'm just gonna pour and guesstimate. It's probably the rest of this, that's it. Whisk it up. Let's pour this into the bacon pan. Put it in the oven on the top rack. And just pulling the cornbread out. Look how beautiful that looks. Now I gotta put some butter on it. And we're gonna flip the chicken legs again. Just take this off and butter like this. 
and melt it over the top. Look how good that looks. The beans are done. They've just been simmering for a while. Look how good these chicken legs are looking. Oh, these look amazing. I'll flip them again. Look at that juicy. Oh. All right, y'all, this is what they're looking like. They're going in one more time just for a little bit, but they're pretty much done. Just want it to crisp up just a little bit more. I just flipped this over. Look how perfect golden brown this is. Oh my goodness. Perfect cornbread. Here is the bouillon flavored rice. It's got green onions in it as well. Beans are done. These have been done. That uncured turkey bacon flavored this so well. I'm about to take the bay leaves out. They are done. Now I'm gonna let this rest for a second and then we're gonna plate up. They got nice and crispy. And when it starts pulling away from the meat like that, you know it's done as well when it pulls away from the leg bone. I'm gonna drizzle the top with a little bit of spicy honey. Or you can add a little bit of brown sugar into the seasoning when we seasoned it. But just add this to the top after it comes out just a little bit and let it soak into that while it's cooling off. Sunday dinner is done. We got chicken legs, y'all. We have rice, beans with turkey bacon, and some cornbread, some jiffy cornbread. This is dinner. It's quick. I just kind of added some different seasoning and it's done. I don't know if you can see it, but that's steaming. Mm, I'm so excited. It's hot. Let's try a bite of the rice and beans. Huh? <laughs> this fella there waiting.